What's up, Show Nicole babes? It's your girl, Show Nicole, and today I'm back with another video. If you are new here, welcome, welcome, welcome. Please make sure that you hit that subscribe button so that you are notified every time I upload new content. If you are not new, thank you, thank you, thank you. All of your love and your support is greatly appreciated. Guys, I'm coming to you today with a how-to video. I'm going to show you an updated version of how I make my body butters for my small business, Queening AF Cosmetics. If you are interested in uh, maybe starting your own body butter business, this is the vote for you. You can either make the body butter on your own or you can contact me via email at she'scherylnicole at gmail.com for me to become your new wholesaler and get you started on your new small business. Stay tuned. Okay, so to get this video started, I'm just gonna introduce you guys to the company um, that I use to order my body butter ingredients from. I'm gonna list every single one of them. I'm gonna have the exact measurements. I'm gonna try to have the exact measurements um, as well as all of the products that I use. So for today's video, I'm gonna be showing you guys what you need, one second gonna be showing you guys what all you need to make the perfect body butter for your small business and different things like that so that I can show you guys okay so we're gonna start with the ingredients first as far as what you need for the perfect body butter for your small business or whatever um, first, we're going to start with these, the emulsifying wax. This ingredient is going to help your oils, and if you are using a water base for your body butter, mix together well. The emulsifying wax was $10.10 from Windy Point, located in Canada. And I feel like this is like a perfect gem when it comes to um, making body butters as well as body scrubs because it helps the oil and the water combine so your ingredients and your products will not separate. Next up, we have the arrowroot powder from New Directions located inside the United States. If you are located in Canada, Canada, they also have a company based out of Canada that you can order your ingredients from for your different body butters and body scrubs. But today we're focusing on body butters. The arrowroot powder um, serves as a, oh, it's getting messy. But the arrowroot powder serves um, to keep your products from being less greasy. So sometimes if you have noticed that you have made a overly greasy body butter, this will be the gem that you need to bring down that greasiness. And it works perfectly and it just helps it glide onto the skin without just feeling like you just put a whole can of vegetable oil on your body. Next up, the main ingredient is shea butter. I also got my shea butter from New Directions, um, the same exact company. Um, I want to say it was like $2 and something for 2.2 pounds. Don't quote me. I would have to actually look on my invoice to see how much this costs. But it was not expensive at all. I think I actually got two of these and it was not expensive. And I actually, since I've been making body butter, this I always go to these. A lot comes in here. You get like a little bucket. And actually, you can probably do, I could say about 50 and up with just this one thing if you make the body butter correctly. Next, I use rosehip oil. I actually order, order this oil off Amazon. Um, the rosehip oil is the most expensive ingredient that I use in all of my products for my business. Um, it is cold pressed and unrefined and it is 100% pure and organic. Next, I use sweet almond oil, oil, um, the cosmetic grade. It also comes from New Directions Aromics. And I want to say, Okay, I'm going to try to get the prices for you guys and I can put it on the screen or in the description box because I just don't remember offhand. So next, I use the Jojoba Golden Oil. Um, I did say that I'm going to start using the Jojoba Clear 
oil because sometimes when you use the gold oil it turns your products especially when i'm doing stuff like lip gloss and stuff like that it will turn your product to like a yellowish color so you have to be careful when you are using the golden jojoba oil in your products for scent i use the tkb vanilla cosmetic flavor oil so for my body butter i use just a light touch or a few light drops of vanilla scented flavoring from um tkb cosmetics so it can give like that bakery type feel although it is made for those who suffer from eczema and things like that so it will not irritate the skin and it's perfect use for male and women next up a measuring cup make sure that you have a measuring cup because this is how you're gonna measure out your ingredients the correct ingredients how much oil or anything that you are using so that you won't overuse the products or waste too much product and you're gonna need a scale because like i said you're using your measuring cup but you also want to make sure that you are getting down your formula for the next time that you make your body butters so that you will know exactly what to do the second time around and each time you you can constantly perfect your formula another two things that you guys will all also need is a metal bowl bowl and a pot so you can fill the pot with water um using that as a boiler you're going to place your metal bowl inside that boiler and um put your shea butter on the inside so that it can melt down and you can start your meltdown process so now that I have introduced you guys to all of the ingredients, let's just get started making this body butter. So we are going to start with our, our water. You wanna make sure that you are putting that water inside of a, of a boiler. And when I say bowl, I mean a bowl as such. And you're just gonna place this bowl inside of this boiler. So now, we're going to cut that on and I'm going to put it in between the six and the seven. So now we're going to take the shea butter. This is the shea butter that we'll be using. And we're going to measure it out so that you guys can see how much I'll be using. And I do recommend that you use gloves. If you just happen to run out of gloves, just make sure that you are washing your hands thoroughly, which is what I'm gonna do right now. So I'm gonna wash my hands. Wash up your arms a little bit. So that you guys can see, I did wash my hands pretty good. I kind of washed up my arms so that you can free your hand from like any germs or anything like that. But if you have measuring cups, you can dig out your shea butter with your measuring cups. And I did forget to mention that, yes, you will need measuring cups. have these measuring cups this is one cup a half a cup and one third and my one fourth cup is in the dishwasher so yeah i'm just gonna use the um half a cup to dig out some shea butter and start melting melting it inside the metal bowl so i'm just using this just to dig it out containers four ounce containers can I feel with just this small amount 
So we're gonna allow this to melt. And as we're allowing that to melt, I am going to go ahead and measure out the emulsifying wax. So I'm gonna go ahead and measure it out. I'm just gonna do one cup or barely one cup, but you wanna make sure it's enough so that the water and everything will mix well. Try to make sure there are no clumps when you're using this, because the easier the meltdown process will be. So this is actually gonna be a half a cup of the emulsifying wax. Now, like I said, this wax is gonna help your oil and your water mix because we do know that oil and water always separate when you mix the two together. So I'm just gonna set this aside. And actually, we're gonna utilize the scale. You're gonna place the scale onto the counter, press it on, allow it to zero out. You're gonna take your emulsifying wax in this measuring cup and place it. And that's gonna be 3.0 ounces of emulsifying wax that I will be using for this body butter formula. I'm actually going to grab a piece of paper so I can remember exactly how I did this. So as you guys can see, I'm going to go ahead and just write body butter. Formula. Whoops. All right. And emulsifying wax. Three point zero ounces. We're just gonna set our planner to the side and continue to allow the body butter to melt. The water is getting pretty hot underneath, um, so it's starting. It has started to melt, and I'm just gonna cut it down a little bit because it can get out of hand. And yeah, normally I would have a spatula, but I don't have one and so i'm just gonna find something so i can use to stir everything around i guess i could use this since i don't use it often i'm just gonna use like this little spatula um for future references normally i will have like a plastic spatula or we're just gonna use this so you're gonna start it moving, moving it around. As you can see, it's becoming more like liquid at the bottom. I'm trying to move you guys a little closer so you can see. All right, so you can see that it's starting to melt. Just gonna give it a little turn, twist and turn. And you can just scrape the side so that the body butter that's getting on the spatula can go back into the pot or bowl. Normally, this takes roughly about 20 minutes, if that. All right, let's cut that down. So almost a very important step that I almost forgot to tell you guys. 
was your water phase or your water method. So for this phase, you're gonna need some distilled water, but today I'm gonna be using spring. Uh, well, not spring, but purified water is what I'll be using and a little glycerin. So one sec. Okay, let's get all of the measuring cups. That's one one. Oh, it's over here. So I'm going to use the one third cup measuring cup to add a little glycerin. And I'm actually going to measure out my glycerin as well. Remember to cut your scale on. And remember, I may not use all of this glycerin. And glycerin is gonna be 2.6 ounces. So, I am going to add this onto my list for 2.6 ounces of glycerin. I am then going to add this glycerin into my measuring cup because I will have to heat this phase up, which I'll be doing so by putting it inside of the microwave. So once that's done, I am going to rinse this out. I'm going to just use a bottle of water because that's what I have today. And we're going to measure out our water. So that's 2.7 or 2.5. So we're going to go ahead and add it to our measuring cup. And then do about one more. One more. I think this may be a little over 2.7. Oh, no. Right on the money. So now, I'm going to pop this into the microwave and get it all warmed up. As you can see, my shea butter is doing pretty good. I should have measured out my shea butter, but I forgot, which is cool. You can kind of eyeball it, but most times it is important so you can have the exact measurement. So as you can see, it's doing its thing, it's melting. So in between the heating phase of the glycerin and the water, you want to take it out and give it a good stir. And as you can see, it's already steaming, ready to mix. So just slide your scale out the way for a bit so you can give it a good mix. Personally, I'm just going to use my little whisk and give it a stir. So then 
we're gonna warm it just a little bit more because eventually in the video we're gonna have to combine the water glycerin and the oils and shea butter all together while it's still warm and remember is it important that after you use each ingredient that you cap it because you don't want to make a mess and spill anything all right we're gonna take that out and place it back on the counter because by the time the shea butter melts, it'll be the perfect temperature. And just to speed up the process with the shea butter meltdown, you just wanna constantly give it a stir. So now that you can see that my shea butter has now melted down with just a little bit still waiting to melt, I'm gonna go ahead and mix in my emulsifying wax, also my oils, just so it can go ahead and melt down and get ready for the water phase of the mixture. And you're gonna give that a stir. And you're gonna allow these to melt down as well. I want the end result for this body butter to be light and pourable into the container. So I'm gonna show you guys how you will not over mix your base before you are ready to transfer them into your container. So it will be an easier transfer and you won't have to use things such as piping bags or Ziploc bags to put your body butter inside of the container. So now we're gonna go ahead and measure out our oils and begin to add them into our mixture. One third cup. Make sure that you have your scale ready to go. We're gonna start with the rose hip oil. And you don't wanna add too much because the shea butter already has a good moisturizer alone. Rosehip oil will land us at 1.5 ounces. And we're gonna go ahead and add that into our mixture. Next up, we have jojoba oil. And it's a little over 1.5 ounces. It landed us at 1.6. And I think I grabbed the wrong almond oil, so let's get the open one. That's gonna let us at right at 1.5. And we are going to combined also to your for your cool down phase you want to make sure that you have a preservative for your body butter and this is the one make sure you guys can see that i use from wendy point 
they have other options but this is the one that i use and this is going to be a part of your cool down base so you want to add probably a cap full into your cool down mixture because we're going to actually warm that up some more out of the microwave we're gonna go ahead and mix the cool down phase and the meltdown phase together while both liquids are still very hot but you want to make sure that everything is melted into the shea butter So now that we have everything melted down, you have your water phase and your oil phase. While both are very, very hot, I am going to remove this from the boiler and just sit it directly on the stove and we're going to get started with everything or the remaining steps. But first, you want to reassure that you have all of the tops back on the containers so you won't. What I think I will do is go ahead and add the flavoring. It's gonna come out very, very slowly. Just to give it a light scent. Okay. And you're just gonna stir that in. Now we're gonna cut off your stove top. I'm gonna place this right here. We're gonna get this off of the eye and move this here. So both phases should look just like this. And now, while it's still hot, we're gonna go ahead and pour in the water phase. And you're gonna stir for about 15 seconds. As you can see, your mixture has already to begin to turn cloudy. And it's better that you melt down your shea butter into small portions because you don't want to overbear yourself or just have too much to where you can't mix all at once. But the cool down phase is very important as well because you are going to place it in the freezer 
or do it over an ice veil so that it can counter harden a little bit but not too much normally they tell you about 30 minutes to 45 minutes to let it harden but for the look and the feel that i'm trying to go for um 30 to 45 minutes is just a bit much so you're gonna keep stirring So I think this is good enough. I'm just gonna place it briefly inside of the freezer. So during this phase, if you wanna spend a little time just trying to clean up um, the mess that you have made, not necessarily a mess, but put your ingredients back um, in, their, in your desired position or places, then you can just to kind of pass some time but please make sure that you don't exceed 15 to 20 minutes of cool down time because you want that consistency to build as you're whipping it and trust me you have to trust the process if you want to see the end results yeah so you want to take it out when your body blur looks like this as you can see like the edges like it's still not all the way done but the edges have hardened a little bit so i'm going to use this in Unfortunately, I have to use this hand mixer because I don't know where my other end like this is to my stand-up mixer. Start this on the lowest setting. So this is the finished result of the body butters. Super excited. I only had enough in that one little container to make five complete body butters. And I think I'm just gonna keep that one for myself. But I am very pleased. As you guys can see, this is the four, four ounce containers. And this is exactly how they turn out. Now eventually, or over time, these body butters are going to harden and i can't wait it's going to be way easier for my customers to just take some and dig it out and put it on their skin yes let's get into it if you have any more questions guys please feel free to comment in the comment section make sure that you hit that subscribe button and yeah see you guys next time